That's what time is, folks. It's cruise news time. Right now, at this moment, we have some tension in Haiti, but it's not like the tension that we have in the Middle East. The tension what we have is a recent prison break and a month of escalating violence, and this is going to affect Royal Caribbean cruises. And the port that it's going to affect is the private port of Labadee. I mean, this is one of their private resorts, unlike all the other resorts, which is a private island. This is actually directly on the actual country of Haiti. And Royal Caribbean is saying right now that all measures are being taken. But at this moment, they're saying it's a safe place to go right now. And we're all saying, well, it's a prison break. I mean, how many people could have broken out of this prison? Well, it's a lot more than you think. There was a total of about approximately 4,000 people broke out of prison. I mean, come on. You know this was an inside job at the prison for 4,000 people to break out. Or it was just a mess event. And all the guards, obviously, you know, you, you hopefully that they're okay. But more than likely, some of them probably actually did get hurt during this prison break. And the location that this happened was at the capital, which is 120 miles south of Labby. And for those who have never been there, including myself, just found out that Labby actually has a gate around the entire area. So it's sort of like almost like going to like one of those resorts. When you go to the DR, it's all gated, and then they're gonna have the guards there with like these semi-automatic rifles, which is nothing new that you will see on that island. And if things in Haiti start to get worse, you may even see this port be canceled. At the moment, there are no cruises to Labrador that are canceled. But do yourself a favor, be prepared. There's a possibility that this port may be canceled in the upcoming future. Is Carlo banning oversized mobility scooters? Or is this a way for Carlo to make more money? And you're thinking, how are they going to make more money if they ban these scooters? Simple. They're going to make the passengers rent other scooters. And for those of you who have ever been on cruises, how many times have you seen a large mobility scooter in the hallway? I've seen plenty of times, right? And also, if you're not aware of that, technically, that is a fire issue. What I mean by fire issue, I mean a fire escape issue. So say there's an emergency where everybody's got to run, and obviously we have to abandon ship. Well, guess what? That mobility scooter could mean the difference between life and death. So technically, that should not be in the hallway. So what Convo wants is your mobility scooter has to be able to fold where that you could bring into your stateroom and put it away in a safe area. Not where it's also in your stateroom and it's in your way from actually getting out. And Carnival is also saying they do not want you to change cruise lines. So they are not trying to crack down to make you change to another cruise line. They just want to make it safe for everybody to get off. Now, this is what they are saying. And people went as far as going to John Heal's Facebook page and calling him a Nazi over this issue. I mean, first of all, do your research before you actually say something about somebody because technically, obviously, he's not a Nazi. And also, he's from England. And the Nazis, they were from Germany. But not Germany now. Germany in World War II. All of us saying that you do have options. An option is you can rent a smaller scooter, which is a carnival vendor. And the name of that vendor is called Scott Ground. I mean, to me, Carmen's telling you to rent from this vendor. Now people are starting to make money. So maybe, I'm not saying this is true, but maybe there's a contract between these two. And now this is a way for obviously both companies to make money. But also, simple. When you book your room and you do not need a mobility room, which is a room that's a much larger room for people who actually have mobility scooters, do not book that room. And also, if Carnival can actually realize that this person booked a mobility room, but they do not have anybody with mobile issues, what they should do is, okay, you booked a balcony room like that. Guess what? Someone who has a mobility issue is now 
going to get your room because it's your own fault that you screwed up. Oh, and one last thing I totally forgot to tell you guys, and this is a very important thing. If you show up to a port with a large mobility scooter, you know what's going to happen? You will be denied boarding. Simple as that. So make sure you rent a mobility scooter that's small. And if you're not sure, call up Carnival and ask them, is this mobility scooter allowed on the cruise ship? But my opinion is, as simple as this, is these passengers should not be charged because they have a large mobility scooter. So maybe add the large mobility scooter because when they're home, it's, it's convenient. And also, you're doing it now. What do you think is going to happen with these people who already have a mobility scooter? Now they got to pay extra to rent a mobility scooter because they're not going to go out and buy and spend thousands of dollars for a small mobility scooter just to get onto a cruise. They're not going to spend that type of money for that. So what should happen is if you need a mobility scooter and you do not have one, then you should have to rent it. But if you already have a mobility scooter, like a large one, and a car doesn't allow it, what they should do is tell you, well, you have to rent this one, but you don't have to pay for it. No one has to pay for it because this is Carnival's own fault. Well, thank you all for watching the show today. Don't forget Wednesday, across the waves, and Friday, I have my life. Okay? Until next time, everybody, safe travels.